What's up guys? So today's recipe is a super easy quinoa salad you can eat as a side dish or add some protein and take to work as lunch. To make it, you'll first have to cook your quinoa. I love using my instant pot for that, but you can also make it on the stovetop. No matter if you use the pressure cooker or stovetop version, the most important part when making quinoa is fluffing it up immediately after it's cooked. Then it's time to do some chopping. Half pit and peel an avocado by cutting it into wedges so the peel easily comes off without leaving absolutely any flesh left on the peel. Then cut it into bite-sized cubes. Add the cubed avocado to the cooked quinoa and then return to the chopping board to cut up some grape tomatoes. I like cutting them into very small pieces so I get a bit of tomato in every bite. But if you're under time pressure, just half them and be done with it. The same applies to the carrots. If you're under time pressure, just use a grater and grate your carrots and you're good. My favorite way of adding them to the salad is julienning them though. The texture is completely different. They stay nice and crunchy while still being super easy to chew. So if you have the extra time, make the extra effort. Next up is the cooked broccoli. You can cook some up yourself or be lazy like me and use frozen cooked broccoli. To defrost the frozen florets, I just put them in a sieve and pour boiling water from the kettle over them. That's it. Chop them into small pieces. The smaller all the individual pieces in the salad, the more flavor explosion in every bite because you get all the ingredients onto your fork. Lastly, add parsley or any other herb you have lying around. No need to go buy a fresh bunch of parsley if you have a near dying basil plant on the kitchen counter. Chop it finely and add to the quinoa salad. Now it's time to dress that salad with just sea salt, pepper, plenty of lemon juice, and that's it already. Toss everything well and dive in. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give the video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel for more recipes like this one, and follow me on social media. I'll have all the links down below. Bye.